You know, it was just three years ago that a major investigation of mine has just been unleashed. We've been looking into this for three years. Welcome back to the second half of Give Me a Break. If you've been following this case from back in 2019, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The Schofield family, after they appear on Dr. Phil. Now let's give you some recap here in case you've been not catching up. We did six parts of this investigation. Now, Susan and Michael appeared on Dr. Phil like in 2012 after a documentary about their daughter, Jenny. Their son, Bodie, was born with autism. And they had, they had spent a lot of time on Jenny instead of Bodie because of his autism. Something like that. I mean, I haven't kept, caught up with... I watched a 2012 episode from uh, years ago. But um, let's fast forward seven years later. They're back on Dr. Phil back in 2019, which was two years ago. Three years ago, actually. To now discuss their son, Bodie, who is not only on the spectrum, but he's also on schizophrenia. Now, during that time... Susan had a YouTube channel talking about her son, filming him on the toilet, filming him at, at night, all that. Comments kept pouring in and pouring in saying, turn herself, turn yourself in, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And during our investigation, right when we started this investigation, I mean, before we started this investigation, another YouTuber popped up, did her own investigation by the name of Without a Crystal Ball. She gave me a statement saying about what's been happening, but there is more to this investigation than meets the eye. But before we, get, before we go further into this investigation, Let's bring you up to speed. Let me play you a clip. Let me play your clip from a... Uh, let me just play you some portions of the first of the first part of their appearance back in 2019. Because back then, remember, I had an old laptop, 480p, crappy quality, none of that. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is play y'all a portion, a part to where he, he talks about, Michael talks about her YouTube channel. Take a look. Well, no, because you're not here and, and yeah. so we can't counsel through that. Now, you, she has a YouTube channel. Yes. And you believe that it's highly exploitive. Yes, I do. I mean, she's filmed Bodie in the shower. She's filmed Bodie on the toilet. Um, she claims that she's doing these videos as an advocate for mental health, but I don't think that she's actually teaching anybody anything. These, I think that the purpose of these videos is for her to get attention and for her to make money because they're, she makes money off the ad revenue. Well, here's an example. Now for about uh, three days. <laughs> That's enough. I don't want to show any more of that. Now, this garnered a tremendous amount of negative uh, comments mm -hmm. uh, on YouTube, and some of those were accusing her of being abusive and exploitive. Uh, they were very pointed and said she should be turned in to um, Child Protective Services. They yeah. said she was uh, sick, that it was torture, this was sad, putting the child in danger, Munchausen by proxy, stop filming, this is eerie, poor kids, barely conscious, sad, uh, crazy woman, uh, over-medicated, sick, abuse, 
I mean, th this is just a sample of them. Yes. And these are just words pulled from them, but some of them were went on and on talking about how, you know, who is this woman and why is she doing this? And that was one of the least offensive uh, videos that that drew criticism because... And here is another example of, of those videos. Alone. It's five o'clock in the morning and she is questioning Bodhi about his meds. Take a look. Do you need medication, yes or no? Do you need medication? You tell me. Because I don't know. You tell me. It's, it's almost five in the morning now, okay? So you tell me. Do you need medication, yes or no? And if so, which medication do you need? If you need medication right now. There's the alarm. What was that? You want to what? Calm. Do you want calm? What are you looking at something? What are you looking at? Okay, stop that right now. And we're going to stop that right now because there's another clip we got to talk about when we come back. So when we return, another clip from Susan's YouTube channel about those medications. It's a flight of ideas that she says. Our investigation has found some Kiwi Farm, some comments from Kiwi Farms. We will get to those a bit later. So stay with us. Welcome back. For those who are just joining us, we are focusing more on the Schofield family, Susan, Michael, Corey, Bodie, and Janie. After Susan, after, after their appearance of Dr. Phil back from 2012 to 2019. So far what we have known is that Bodie was not on medication years ago. In fact, Susan has filmed her son on the toilet, in the shower, even at five o'clock in the morning. Here's another sampling of Susan's videos. This is, I watched this, I when I did this investigation, I really thought this was very offensive. So it is really offensive to me as a person who was on the spectrum. Take a look at this next one. How are you feeling now? Oh my God. Do you want the letters of the alphabet? Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, now, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but you're asking this child, who, by the way, I think was having uh, a transient seizure in the first part of that conversation, mm -hmm. and you're asking him, I wanna know if you need medication and if so which one mm -hmm. yes. and in the same conversation mm -hmm. you're saying okay do you want to go through the letters of the alphabet no he brought that up to me uh, and I then understand. We talk. it's a flight I, of ideas I, i'm surprised you can't see this uh, let, uh, even dr phil is skeptical what I can see is that you're dealing with a child that has a flight of ideas and is wanting to talk about the letters of the alphabet and in the same conversation you're talking to him about whether he needs medication or not and which medication he needs. Yeah, because he has declared. And in, 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 finally, in well, take a look at uh, take a look and at Here's this. a third one. Tell me more. Because if I'll take you out, I have no problem. I'll take you out right now. But I need to know what's going on with you. And I need to also know 
if you need if you need your um, claws roll and Depakote. So you've got to tell me this, Bodie, before I take you out. Yes or no? You're asking this child yes. who needs Clozarell or Depakote. Mm -hmm. Are right. you kidding me? No, no, I'm not. Because you don't seem to understand what happens when children who are not medicated, what they, if you know, well, hey, you know what? You got Columbine to Sandy Hook. Are you happy uh. with that? Shit. Comparing Columbine to Sandy Hook? Shit. This is outrageous. She compared Columbine, her son, to Columbine and Sandy Hook. This is outrageous. Now, there's some things that we did not mention in this investigation. One of them is the lists of medication that he's on. And there is a lot of medications. And there's like over these 50 doctors childhood onset schizophrenia i believe he has both autism and childhood schizophrenia he is diagnosed with both and diagnosed with both okay to do the therapies how many doctors have you taken him to we have taken him to ucla where there is one main okay. doctor and a ton of fellows. That's 50. Yeah, fellows. You've seen about 50 doctors. Yes, yes, because they're all under the one main doctor. And okay. in fact... And then of the uh, 50 doctors, yes. you've, you've got one mm -hmm. that said schizophrenia. Actually, I have Which was the three. last one. No, there were three. two. There were two outpatient psychiatrists. One, um, I don't know if I can name names or not. I'd rather you not. I figured you would not want that. So, um... And what there's they said one doctor psychotic in Northridge. No, 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 in Northridge. I have to tell you, there was a doctor, you remember, and he he was trying desperately to get Bodie on clozapine because no, he knew. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. I think but, that doctors no. would tell you that what they would say is that they were not willing to do it outpatient. They would be willing to do it inpatient, yes. but I think that that was to placate you. Well, you can not think because... whatever you want, okay? The truth is, I was even on the phone with the other doctor who okay. believed this in a well, poor Here's health. what you said in your tape. Piece. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Bodhi has not been officially diagnosed schizophrenic. Psychotic disorder. Okay, well, you just said he had been diagnosed as schizophrenic, and you say in your tape piece he is not. Okay, all right. Psychotic disorder. You're talking about. I know. This. All right. When we come back, I'm going to tell you about the list of medications that Bodhi is on. Then we're going to read the comments from Kiwi Farms. Stay with us. Susan, Corey, Michael, Janie, and Bodhi, we are focusing in on the, we're focusing our investigation into the Schofield family, which is now three years after their appearance on Dr. Phil. So far we have seen is that Susan has seen over 50 doctors. 50 doctors. Let's take a look now at the medication list that he's on. As being incompetent. Egotistical. egotistical you say yes. they're egotistical mm -hmm. and incompetent because they don't agree with your diagnosis of well, schizophrenia. Okay, I have something to say to that actually. Um, Adam Lanza was diagnosed with autism and that worked. Yeah, great, because he was not given the right medication so or any medication Adam at Lanza all. To your, I did not say that. To I did not say that. He was clearly psychotic. They made a big mistake. Now, what you're up against in the mental health care system is doctors who give the blank autism diagnosis. That's all they do. And usually there's a mixture of both or several who, diagnoses. Who are you talking to? The audience? Well, talk to me. Oh, this okay, is, I'm sorry. We're, we're not having an election okay, here. They're not okay. going to vote. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. But I just want to know, what would you do if you were me and your son was going absolutely crazy as he is right now in this studio and anyone can see it and he is not on any medication? 
I live with this 24-7. He's not seven. going crazy. He has autism. People with aut kids with autism have meltdowns. Okay, exactly. but you need to also have them function in the real world. But, okay. uh, hang on a second. Sure. She asked me a question and allowed me to answer. Of course, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not a politician either, you know. Um, you said, what would I do? Yes, what would you do? Um, well, first off, I would okay. recognize my own limitations. Okay. And recognize that as a mother, mm -hmm. I, number one, was not objective. Uh, number two, would be a good source of information mm -hmm. to a caregiver. Mm -hmm. And I would look really hard to find someone that I had confidence in mm -hmm. that would go through a diagnostic process and not just talk to them for five or six minutes and render some diagnosis because we know that happens a lot. Yes, we do. Uh, so I'd want someone yeah, that that's would... how you get shoes on the White House lawn is yeah. because all of these great doctors are in okay. hiding. They don't okay. come out. Well, let me finish. Sorry, it's I not would... the guns. It's the mental illness that comes first. Okay. The guns come second. And nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about this. Why not? Where are the psychiatrists behind all of these terrible massacres? Where are they? They're in hiding under the HIPAA laws. I would find a, a doctor that I had confidence in mm -hmm. that would actually take time. This is going on the editing floor, I know. I would find a doctor that I had confidence in that would really take time to okay. evaluate my son okay. and go through it. If I if I didn't disagree, if mm -hmm. I didn't agree with that, yes. then I would get a second opinion. I have. Now I can tell I you why. I wouldn't get 49 okay, second opinions. I'm gonna, you know what? Here's um, the thing. Here's the thing, though, that you don't know. And I, I got to tell you, this one doctor who works at a very prestigious hospital happened to train so many fellows that even a psychologist friend of mine, PhD, who's seen my son, has she tried to get him with a doctor that she knows and, and the doctor took a look at all the paperwork said oh this doctor i trained under him i'm sorry so i'm just you not think the it's right a, you think it's a big conspiracy i'm it? not saying it's a conspiracy but you know what that sounds like that sounds delusional well thank you very much i have bipolar i have bipolar and okay, but, but this is the reality of it okay but let me mm -hmm. Let me let me say, you're you're talking about actually that's up the list. This is yes. the medications. You, you understand that that's a mm -hmm. black label drug that yes. is mm -hmm. given only as a last resort mm -hmm. with schizophrenics that do not respond to any of the other medications. That's correct. And you've got to have you mm -hmm. got to have blood work. That's correct. Like every every week or yeah. ten days, and not every psychiatrist can even give this. It's, I know. it's such a a potent drug, and it's and also it's a last ditch <laughs> effort to try and control exactly the delusions. My son was in a straitjacket, and you were there. He was not in a straitjacket. It was an orange papoose. Do you remember that? And, Eight yes, hours. By the way, you do remember and that. By the way, mm -hmm. he's not going crazy as you call it he, upstairs he's just fine right now he's just being fine okay. he's sitting around well you know what he is off medication he that is in the best interest of my son right now anything happens but I you mean, want him back on medication no i no i want him to be well i want him well, to eat Susan right now isn't the eating. only one fighting for Bodie to be diagnosed with schiz actually well that was the medication list that he's on the 50 doctors When we come back, I'm going to tell you what Corey has to say about the, all this 50 doctors crap. And then we're going to read comments from Kiwi Farms. And I'm going to update you on the investi on all the investigations from, from the Schofield case. So stick around. We'll be right back. Corey now has the floor. And if you just join us, we are focusing more on our investigation into the Schofield case three years after their last appearance on Dr. Phil. It's more about Here's you know, the, the damage that he's causing with the doctors, with the school nurse, oh, with sure. with um, Janie's education. You know, anything that you know, 
Mm -hmm. Just just comes yeah. up. He'll 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 skewer it because that's just what he does. Because I'm expected to rubber stamp whatever the two of you she want. She has been thriving ever since you left. But this is a joint custody situation, yes, it is. correct? Yes. And he has the right to approve mm -hmm. or weigh in on hospitalizations, medical care. Changes. Even though he wants the kids institutionalized, so he doesn't have to pay well, child support, mean he, and he's garnished I've because never said he has okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm just talking about his mm -hmm. legal rights. Okay, okay. Not... All right. We focused in on the videos. Now let's go into the list of the medications. The MRI. That was scheduled. There's a problem with the mental health well, care system that is being ignored, okay, and it's all listen, the way through. You want to talk about the system? I yes, want to talk I about do. your situation. I want to talk about the system. And I'm telling you, in my opinion, mm -hmm. you are not competent to make a decision about what medications he needs and who he needs them. Then you provide me the doctor who you is. Let, let me finish. You, you me two, neither is. of you two are competent to make decisions about what medication he needs and when he needs it. And certainly an 11 year old child that is either schizophrenic or on the autism spectrum is not competent to make a decision about whether he needs Clozaril, Depakote, Thorazine, or anything else. When he's in his right mind, when he's present. In that tape, do you no, believe no, he was no. present? That, that tape does not show, he's not in his right mind. She's That's asking right. him, does he, right. should he take right. those medications? Right. Tell some, me, I need more information. Tell me if you need these medications. And, and if he says yes, she's going to give them to him. Sometimes, so, so, no, no, no. No, That's, words are doctor's orders. We don't give it. We haven't given him anything. Why are you asking him the question? Is because this just idle? No, out of a conversation he, at 5 a.m.? He's up at 5 a.m. because he's up all night long because he can't sleep and he's begging to sleep. So and he the can't. answer is to put him on clozapine so he'll Not sleep. Not necessarily. No. I don't know what the answer is, but I need a, a good doctor. And we I know Dr. Bill can give me a good doctor. No. The no. problem is no. you won't listen right, to them. No. No. Well, they no. haven't been stop, right. Stop. Now, the, the and thing, he's still wait, 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 wait. I, I want to clarify this 50 doctors business. Yeah. Okay. There, she's saying there was one doctor I'm who I'm not going to discuss another damn thing until somebody no. answers my question. Oh, do I think he's confident? I think sometimes he's aware enough to give a, a valid answer. That's correct. Sometimes he's aware, sometimes, sometimes he's then not. Then you are a reckless parent. He is this much aware. Agree. This every once in a while. Amen. You will get a glimpse that, and he is present, and you can converse with him. He will actually answer a question. Yeah. I think I am probably better educated and have more experience than Bodie. Fair enough. I will uh, give you that. I, 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 okay. I, I have been doing this for 45 years. I have training in psychopharmacology, and I can tell you. I am not competent to answer the question you ask. Okay. I am not competent to answer the question as to whether or not at that moment in time that child needs those medications because that needs to be part of a therapeutic regimen dictated by his psychiatrist based on blood work, based on a following history, and based on where he is. And if you were to ask me, watching that video, whether he needs those medications or not, I would tell you two things. Number one, I'm not competent to answer that question without a whole lot more information. And number two, I'm not competent to tell you whether he has childhood schizophrenia or he is on the autism spectrum or both because there is some overlap and for you to be asking that child that question is absolutely absurdly ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, it's... I couldn't answer the question, so how Fair in the enough. world can he? Fair enough. It's him. He, it is he, him. He, he is present from time to time. He goes in and out. Just because you have a brain injury doesn't mean you can do brain surgery. Now, when we come back, the follow-up, part two of Susan of the Showfields, this was a two-parter back in 2019. And we're also going to read you comments 
from Kiwi Farms, which talks about everything and keep you up to date from without a crystal ball. So stay with us. If you just joined us, this is probably a, the best part, best part of this ever. We're doing, we're still doing our investigation into the Schofield family years after they appeared on Dr. Phil. I've held on to this investigation for two years because of all the stuff that's been going on throughout everything with education issues, news issues, all the issues about the will. I've not been able to focus on this investigation until I found a podcast. We'll get to that in just a minute. But I want to share with you. I mean, Dr. Sophie was part of this, saying whether he needs all those medications. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do right now, is play you a clip. To where they tell him to shut down a YouTube channel and... Dr. Sophie said, well, she needs more help than the kid. Take a look. This stuff. Okay. That gets in the way. Well, that's noise. totally okay. Then that's why I'm saying, can he be in for a two week treatment? No, program? you don't get to determine. You, look, no. Well, no, listen, Just stop, listen when we stop, tell you. stop. Listen. You're already getting in the way. You don't get to determine what he needs to do. If we're going to get involved, mm -hmm. okay. you need to be a mother and get out of the way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come in for a two-week treatment. You don't know what needs to be done. You don't know what he needs to what needs to happen. If if we get involved in this, we will assemble a team, and there will be an evaluation done, and then there will be a recommendation. Okay. And I'm not even willing to consider this if you don't stop posting videos of these children on the internet because I believe it is extraordinary. Okay. You know what? So that's my that's that's my that's my price of admission. I'll stop right now. And I'm the one who posts. I'm the one who edits. She films, I edit yeah, and post. It is a glimpse into our life. There yes. is nothing more than what that is. But it's mm -hmm. exploiting. But that's fine. It's exploiting the mental health care industry because they are not no, doing son. what they're supposed to be doing. I said again, who's on the toilet? The mental health system or okay, your son? That... <laughs> you put the mental health system on the toilet? Okay. Okay. Mental health care system, you go on the toilet. Bodie, you stay here. What's the difference? No, let's switch that around. Mel Hunker system, you stay put. Bodie, you're in the toilet. Get my camera. Geek. Yeah, I'm filming Bodie on the toilet here. I'm gonna get lots of views here. <laughs> Take that, Dr. Phil. <laughs> It sounded kind of funny in my head. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> All right, enough laughter. Let's get back to some seriousness here. All right, now after that episode aired, the channel was shut down. Bodhi probably got help, and there's still lots of issues going on. And Kiwi Farms probably has more of it than I do. Susan was determined to be negligent. Over medicating the kids by a quarter of here, and the kids remain in foster group care waiting for the near the end of August. That was August 2019. Let's go now to what happened. I mean, Susan is still posting a lot of all of this, but there are lawsuits happening. This is from California. What I've obtained was all of these lawsuits other. This is from the deputy clerk, Amelia Felix. But wait, we have another one. This was from the attorney's defendants, the County of Los Angeles, Karen L.A. Santa Sanchez, with a lot of... I mean, this is what... These are 20... These are like 24 pages of what a court has been doing and this was shared by a lot of people and their YouTube channel the show feel true they even began their podcast 
I ain't gonna play for you. And just weeks ago, more more evidence is like July 27th, proof of service. All these from Susan Schofield. This was from Marissa Hernandez. Saying all this and that. Eight more defendants were... These are all eight defendants. Eight. There was a lot of... Look at this. Even from Susan's Facebook page, a post action item and... Look at all this. I mean, this is the kind of crap you would see. And... And they even have their own podcast. So if you say, well, I've been holding off this investigation... Because I'm saying in the back of my head, I would realize that she was doing a podcast like she is right now, or I'd imagine she had her own TV show, or doing anything else. And even if that podcast wouldn't involve feeling bony on the toilet, click, getting lots of views, yay, bony on the toilet, take that, Dr. Phil, I hope I go to jail soon. Ugh. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And it's Dr. Sylvia's wife, she needs more help than the kid. Even Janie. She turned 21 this year. This year she turned 21. Now. Now there's lots of cooks in this kitchen to claim about what had happened. And even Gray Lighten and without a crystal ball. Here's what Joni had, here's what Jenny had to say about Dr. Phil and Sophie. Make it. I'm just tired of this case. Every time I sleep, I dream that Susan Schofield will be cheating on me. With Corey. Will be cheating on me with Corey. Schizophrenia is like when I was trying to watch a video and my teacher is talking at the same time in school and Dr. Phil and Dr. Sophie don't understand what what schizophrenia actually is what and 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 the voices in my head are what are just so bad and and they, and Dr. Phil and Dr. Sophie just don't seem to understand that. They're experts. Dr. Phil and Dr. Sophie were also wrong in telling me I don't have schizophrenia because I would never tell someone they don't have a stomach ache, okay? And, but that's what's happening to me is they're telling me I don't have something that I know I have because I'm inside my own body. If she was in my kitchen, if the family's in my kitchen, this would be Hell's Kitchen. But listen, 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 stay. F off, F off, F off, F off. Get out. Get out. <sighs> if you want to catch up on all the show fields, you can look at the description below for all the episodes. One from Dr. Phil and several parts of the show Phil investigation from the show. From the start to the end to here. We'll keep looking into this case in the weeks ahead and bring in the results on a future. On a future, give me a break. That's it. That's all for the second half of Give Me a Break Wednesday. We're going to Thursday. We will see you again for Give Me a Break Friday as we continue our finale week. The season finale is going to happen August 13th. Our season five finale. We're going to take a few weeks off. We'll be back for season six. For all of us here on YouTube and Give Me a Break. Good night, everyone.